What's going on, you guys? So, I want to talk to you about reason number two, why Star Trek Infinite is different than Stellaris. There's a lot of core functionality that's going into Star Trek Infinite that Stellaris does not have. In the last video, we talked about uh, governors and spies. Today, we're going to talk about the neutral zone. So, the neutral zone, if you guys are not familiar, if you watch The Next Generation, um, was basically a piece of space between the Federation and Romulan Empire. And neither side was supposed to go in. Numerous episodes, that wasn't the case, but... <laughs> um, so I want to show you here, first in this video right here. So you see the Federation space here, and then you see Romulan space here, and you see this, right? Uh, and a couple things come to mind automatically is, Stellaris, we do not have neutral zones. There is no buffer between empires. Now, obviously in Star Trek there is, now, another thing that's really interesting is in Birth of the Federation, there was also a neutral zone. And what's interesting about it was, is that if you look on this screenshot, you know, it, it's basically displayed as like lines, you know, at an angle right here, right? So this is uh, Cardassian space and this is Federation space. By the way, I'll leave a link if you want to play this game. It's actually considered what they call it abandonware at this point because um, it's not being sold. So you can actually download it and install it on your computer right now. So I'll leave a link to that um, in the description below. Now, so right here you got the Federation and the Cardassians, and then you have a neutral zone between them. And look how, you know, the lines are agonal, uh, at an angle, excuse me. I'm still not feeling well today. Um, and then you go back here, and again, this looks very familiar, doesn't it, guys? Uh, I honestly do think that the developers are taking some inspiration from the first Birth of the Federation game. Because, you know, we have these boxes here that's very reminiscent of, you know, of this, you know, because this game was in box format, in uh, square format for the sectors, and you have that. Uh, Stellaris does not have this, right, this background here. It also doesn't have, like I said before, it doesn't have neutral zones, and it doesn't have ones that, you know, have these angles that look pretty much identical to these, just a little bit more modernized. Um, now, the question is, what does this neutral zone do? Uh, from the screenshots and videos that I've seen, it only is between the Federation and the Romulan Empire. I haven't seen it, like, between the Federation and the Klingons here. Uh, or in other videos where you have, like, uh, Federation bordering the Cardassians. I don't see anything here. This is the Romulans here. So, neutral zone. So, it looks to be a Romulan Federation kind of thing. So, this is going to be really cool. Uh, what it's going to do is going to be very interesting. Uh, a couple ideas that I'm thinking is, like, if you head into the neutral zone, it's going to increase tensions. Uh, other things that it could possibly do is start a war. Uh, maybe it's an area that where the Romulan fleet goes and your fleet goes, and you could actually have a, a fight without having a war. We don't know yet. We'll find out when this game releases on the 12th. But it's very interesting because... Uh, you know, there was no neutral zone in Solaris, so I, I really am very interested and excited to see how they're going to apply this mechanic to Star Trek Infinite. And this is why I chose this as reason number two on why Star Trek Infinite is different than Stellaris. Uh, now also, keep this in mind that it's between the Federation and the Romulans now. Once modders get their hands on this, I could see this even expanding to like the Cardassians or the Klingons or other uh, different types of races. So it's going to be really interesting when that happens. Uh, so I'm very excited for this game. I just wanted to show you guys this because I did notice this in a number of videos and I'm really interested in how this gameplay mechanic works. Um, if the developer is watching, if you guys, you know, put out, you know, if you want to comment on it, uh, that would be great. I would love to find out more about it. Um, but if not, I'll wait till the 12th. All right, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Catch you in the next one. See you then.